Okay, I think that's working. Hopefully that's working. Let's see what happens. Someone shared my post. Hello. Um, this will probably be cut out. Um, but yeah, hi. My name is Asa. And I'm going to show you how to play Wreck Me. <sighs> Let's tune up real quick. I had uh, a bunch of tacos for... Or was, they were taco nachos. Which is a confusing thing, because I think it was just nachos. Um, but they were called taco nachos. And feeling a little bit ill. Hope I don't get food poisoning. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to teach this song in like a beginner's way and then a uh, the, then the easy way. Or the beginner's way and then the, then the, the way I do it. Uh, and feel free to comment. I got my laptop down here so I could say, uh, answer any questions that's going on. Uh, so yeah, it's in G. Uh, most of it is these four chords. G, E minor, F, and C. Uh, it's a waltz. Uh, so here's here's the easy version. So it's just uh, G, E minor, F, C. And you can do your F like this. I know people do it like this or like this or like this. Any of those is fine. Whatever you can do. I know F's hard for a lot of people who are just starting out, but. Um, it's a great chord, so get it, get, get it in your arsenal. Uh, so yeah, the first verse is just that. Uh, all the choruses are is that the, the verse and the chorus is the same chord progression. So and I do my C like this with the with a pink with kind of like the instead of having that low note be there it's, it's these ones uh and then uh yeah and then so the whole thing is just that all the the verses are like that quick side note if uh let me check out some of your music on your link great music man oh thank you i appreciate that um quick side note if you can't play along with the record it's because i recorded the record like a half step flat so instead of being like E, A, D, G, B, E, it's E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, E flat. And I did that for dumb specific reasons. But uh, if you're having trouble playing along with it, that's that's why. Like if you can imagine little flats over all of these, then it would match up with the record. Or if you just tune down, then you can play along with the record. But um, when I do it live, I just play regular. I don't play with the little flat thing. So um, the only tricky part in the whole song is the, the bridge, the your like sh sugar dust part um, and that's uh you can do it two ways um one way is by doing the this kind of bar chord like the e shape bar chord on the uh what is this sixth fret or you can do the a shaped one uh on the first fret either way it's gonna be kind of hard um so that part is like uh you're like sugar Completely lost the key because I was playing this a bunch of times. But uh, and that I was just doing a C. You can do that uh, either way. If you're comfortable with bar chords, then you could do it like that. Um, but I think this is going to be the easiest way to do it, um, or like this, uh, depending on how how you with bar chords. So um, so it's gonna be a what is that six. Again, you could do that six and then play a C right here. It's the same, whatever's easier for you. Uh, and then the second time around, it goes uh, B flat C D. So it's so let's just push this So that's that's the basic uh, cheap bar chord or cheap like uh, way to play it. It's the beginner's version. Um, so if, if uh, that's the version I play when I get very very drunk and can't play the fancy stuff. Um, so let's see here. The complicated version has a bunch of like 
little intricacies that may actually be pretty easy for people to pick up. So if you're afraid of, of trying it out, it's, it's not that hard. So uh, same, same chords, but they're just little tiny variations on the, on, on the chords. I add little extra notes and do little finger things every once in a while. So uh, one, of them, one of them is uh, G. So instead of uh, uh, taking, I do, I do my G like this with, the, with uh, my pinky and my third uh, ring finger on the third fret on the E and the third fret on the B. So it just kind of makes that real full. It's, it's, it's instead of being like this. Uh, so once you have that, uh, you just keep those two fingers down there, and then you do this, which is the everyone knows it as the Wonder Wall chord. The two. I don't know how to play that song. Um, anyways, so yeah. There's a, a specific picking thing I do that's like, it's a one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like, so it's, I don't really like the, because that feels too much like, so I didn't really want to have that vibe, even though it was in uh, a waltz. So it's just that. And just the F and the C are the same. And I do this little, uh, if you just keep your fingers in that same C shape and you do the, it's a hammer on, just like, like you would with your, just moving your uh, middle finger up and down. And I do this. So it's, uh, you're in that C shape. Put your second finger back down on the G string and you slide up to the fourth fret, and then I land on there. And it's kind of like this broken chord where you're like muting all the other strings except for uh, the three on the E and the four on the G string. Haha, <laughs> G string. Um, will that joke ever get old? Yes. Um, That's just the second part is just kind of retracing the going to the E minor, uh, and this part I learned from a Neil Young song. Uh, I can't remember which one it was, but I just heard it and I was like, I like that little thing. And what it is is you take that E minor and you uh, slide up in the in same kind of fashion, but to the fifth fret on uh, the D string. So you're going up to the G. That's the little. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if anybody's gonna be able or want to play it at this level, but uh, uh, and then the rest of that little phrase is just hammer-ons and pull-offs. That little. I think that's it. I, I think everything else is just the same. Uh, I do do. Uh, I said do do. Uh, when I play the D instead of playing a D like this or like this, a D seventh. I play a D seventh up here, which is uh, so you know the B seventh shape. If you know, if you know like your traditional like non bar chords, B seventh is like one of the hard hard ones when you're first starting out. But, uh, so that shape, you can actually slide that shape anywhere up the neck. It's really, it's super fun because like once you learn that shape, you can do this. It's all the same shape. Um, so that, it's just that shape on the fifth fret. And I'm also kind of uh, double fingering, d double barring the... Uh, the bottom two strings on the fifth fret. So it's like five, five, four, three with your third finger. Uh, and then I kind of like mute that fifth string and then uh, five on the E. So that's. And then. Again, that Wonderwall chord. 
I also do this pull in, which is like a bluegrass thing. It's a very subtle. A lot of the stuff I do is is pretty like it's you know it's G E minor F C, which is not super hard, but it's there's a lot of little tiny things that. Um, are important to the way it, in my head is like it has to go that way but like I don't give a shit play it however you want um, um, so yeah uh, I think that's it uh, I have to figure out how I play how I even played the solo on the record um, close I, I don't even know um, so yeah I think I'm gonna end this one here and that's that's wrecked me uh, more songs to come like and subscribe in the comments now I'm gonna awkwardly reach toward the phone to end the video